Hello. Today we will be following the donation path of David Sachs, who will be donating blood with the Miller Keystone Blood Center. The first thing that you need when you're donating blood... Do you have ID? Yes, I do. Can I see it, please? ...is a valid identification card. This allows the blood center to identify you as you and make sure that everything goes smoothly in the process of donating blood. Acceptable forms of ID include a driver's license, and also an official Miller Keystone donor card. Donor card. That has your ID number on it. Mm -hmm. This donor card has your donor ID number on it as well to keep track of when you donate blood. Okay, we'd like you to read this before you die. A list of rules and regulations is given to the donor before they donate blood. This is to make sure that the blood is safe for the person who is receiving it. A lot of these questions will be covered in the screening process. David Sachs? Yes. You come on in here with me. After that is completed, you'll be taken into the screening room. Hi, I'm Erin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You. you can come on in here. Can I see here? To learn more about the screening process, I interviewed one of the employees here at Miller Keystone Blood Center. She's going to explain more about the screening process. Well, first they bring you into the room, and then they verify who you are. And then once they verify who you are, they go into... On a blood drive, they won't go into the computer system because they don't have that access, but what they will do is they will start with the screening process, which is the vital signs. They will um, ask your weight. They will stick your finger to test your hemoglobin. They will take your blood pressure, your pulse, um, your temperature, and if all those things are acceptable, they will then ask you the questions. You go through all the questions, and once you pass that part of the screening process, then they will take you out and draw your blood. After the screening process is complete, the donor is now ready to donate blood. At the church on Saturday, we will have enough stations so that two people can go in every 15-minute slot. This will allow for smooth donation process and a fast in and out time for the donors themselves. Before drawing blood, the arm is sterilized with rubbing alcohol. This is to protect the arm from infection while donating blood. Other protective measures are taken by the employees of Miller Keystone Blood Center. Protective gloves are worn and masks to help protect them while you're donating blood. This is a safety precaution that is a Pennsylvania law, and you will see this occur at the church on Saturday. Warning. The following contains minor graphic content. You may choose to close your eyes for the next 15 seconds as the needle is stuck into the arm. Thank you. After needle is inserted into the arm, it is secured with a band-aid and tape to make sure it does not come out during the donation process. During the donation process, you will be asked to squeeze a foam cylinder to keep the blood flowing through the arm and down through the tube into the collection bag which is placed below you so that gravity can help the blood flow into the bag which will hold one pint of blood. You probably noticed that it's a fairly big needle that they put into the vein. There's two reasons for that. The obvious reason is that the large needle allows them to take the blood out faster. But also, if the needle is small, when the red blood cells come out through the needle, they get injured by the needle and it breaks them up into pieces. So then they can't be used for the transfusion because of the group, but also when the red blood cells are injured, they release their insides and that has potassium in it. And you can have high levels of potassium being released from the injured blood cells. Blood samples are also taken in these small vials. These samples are then tested to make sure the blood is free of any diseases. It's also used to take a cholesterol count, which will then be sent back to the donating patient. It's kind of like a free cholesterol test. These blood samples are also used to test blood type to make sure that the patient they are giving the blood to has the same blood type as the donor. Thank you for coming in, Rubina, for this. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Drawing the blood takes about 10 minutes. During that time, you can sit, relax, read a magazine, or do whatever you want until the process is over. Dr. Sachs has just finished the blood donation process. After that is complete, he will move to the canteen area where he will have snacks and juice for a certain amount of time to rest before he can go back out to his normal life of being a radiologist. 
The canteen is run by Miller Keystone Blood Center. Yes, he's happy. Because they offer a variety of snacks and drink options for him while he waits to be released. Miller Keystone mandates that a donor must wait in the canteen area for 10 minutes before leaving. This is so that they can observe you and make sure you're feeling well before you go back home. It was not my first time donating blood, so I've gotten used to it. There's always the uh, apprehension and initial uh, dislike of being stuck and having to hold your arm still and the trust in the person who's going to stick you to make to hope that they um, get in on a first stick and uh, everything goes well, but it almost always does. They're very good. And then you're just there waiting and relieved that the first part is over. And things go on. Watch as the bag fills up. The needle comes out. And you say, that wasn't such a big deal. Then you come over, get yourself a glass of juice, a cookie. And it's time to go on home. For donating blood, Dr. Sachs received a catchy white t-shirt that was free, yes, free, from the Miller Keystone Blood Center as a small token to show their thanks for him donating blood and helping out the people in his community who may need B-negative blood. I hope you learned a lot from this video, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you who have already signed up to donate blood at my blood drive. Thank you.